but he is making his debut here. And that's a great segue that you gave me there because because of that, you ended up getting uh, what is looked back on as a great opportunity and a great moment in getting to be the first opponent for Bill Goldberg, which happened yeah. on a Nitro. Yeah, yeah. And that came, that came early on too, you know, especially with, with Bill. I mean, nobody, and, and, you know, it's been said and documented and all, everybody's saying, you know, this, that, and the other. But no one knew what Bill was going to do on night one. No one knew what it was going to turn into. I, I, I think, and I've always said they weren't sure. They, I think, the original thought was, "Don't say his name because we're not sure what we're going to where we're going to go with this." But they said his name Goldberg at the end of it, and they brought him in. And if you remember, he didn't say anything on the interview mm -hmm. segment; he just walked off. But I don't think anybody ever knew it was going to blow up that way and become a streak and and all those things. But like I always say, I, I'm kind of known for a few things. That being probably one of the biggest is being Bill's, you know, first opponent. So I, I hang my hat on that very proudly and go, that was, that's freaking cool. 30 years later, they're doing a documentary. They're still talking about Bill's first match. So yep. pretty cool. And it was and it was a really good match. I mean, you you had him, uh, you hit him with the moonsault there. You had him get out of it. Uh, when, you're, when you're putting that together with Bill, um, and obviously this is his debut. Uh, were you given any marching orders like, okay, you got to make this guy look like a million bucks or was this just, you That's know, go it. yep. That was it. Hey, they like this guy. You're here for a reason. This ain't about you. Put your bump and shoes on and let's, you know, let's see what happens. But I, I agree. I thought it was a good match. Mm -hmm. um, that probably was one of the longer matches he had during the streak when it started. Um, but just the whole, yeah. I don't remember that well, uh, a lot of conversation. The only two things I remember is letting him know that where I, where I put him for the moonsault, stay there, don't move. The rest is on him. And the other thing was we were talking about because he wanted to do that backflip, mm -hmm. that back handstand thing. And everybody was telling him, don't do that. But it was in his mind. He was going to do it. So when he did it, <laughs> it still sticks in my mind today going, ah, but it all, you know, it all worked <laughs> out. So there wasn't a lot of, there wasn't a lot of long conversation. There wasn't, uh, there was no rehearsals. There was no, we didn't sit and talk to each other a bunch before them because Bill was still training and, and learning and stuff. And I'm not sure if Bill knew what he was supposed to do that night either. Mm -hmm. I mean, they told him, here it is. Uh, we got the, you know, we got the, the game plan and, and I think we executed it well. And the rest is, uh, you know, freaking guy. He's a hall of famer for yeah. a reason, you know? Yeah, I, I, I think he did. He was the right person. I think he was what WCW needed at that time. They needed yeah. that homegrown star because, you know, they had been saturating it with a lot of the guys that had come over from the WWF. And now yeah. here was someone they built from the ground up that um, I actually heard a great quote from Jim Ross where he said, you know, he, he was their Hogan, like what Hogan was to the, the WWF. And that's how he should have been used. I mean, we can argue about how his streak was ended and those kinds of things. Yeah. But uh, I definitely think that he was that that the most successful homegrown talent from WCW and uh, the right guy at the right place, the right time. Uh, yeah, agreed. You, you did a great, you know, a great service to give him that kind of a debut to start him off, you know, real strong. Um, I know like uh, Mang worked with him too, uh, made him look good. Glacier had a lot of good matches with him as yeah. well. Uh, those ones really stick out in my mind. 